babies come with a lot of stuff. Yuri! You help, help! Yuri, help, help! Yuri, Yuri! Can you help? Put this one down. Perfect. Yeah, I'll call you. Hello! Great! Good morning. So, today, we're all over the place, per usual, except it's a little bit different now because I'm a dad. You wanna see her? Hold on, let me show you. This is what I do now. I'm like now literally that guy. There she is. This is, Amelia just texted me this. This is her sleeping right now. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Hi. Mm -hmm. And this is her with Kylie Jenner's filter on. This is West. This is messed up. Totally messed up. I don't even know why I just showed you that. It's just so weird. Uh, and this is her yawning. I put this on Instagram. It's so cute. Look, that's her yawning. Wait, wait, wait to the end. She's like, oh, oh, see that? Yeah. Yeah. So we're on our way now to go to Avis and Young, which is a very large commercial brokerage here in the city. Um, I'm going to talk on a panel with my friend James Nelson, who's a broker there, one of the biggest commercial brokers in the city. And people email me all the time. And I love it. And I save them all. Uh, but somebody else just emailed me and I think I get this email at least five times a day. Yo, Ryan, what up with you? Yo, how do I make more money in 2019? Okay. So great email. Um, everything's great with me. What up with you? <clears throat> you know what? That's what we're going to talk about today. If you made an extra $25,000 this year, would that make a big difference to you? If it wouldn't, then you can apply everything that I'm about to talk to, to a number that would make you happy. 250, 250 million, whatever the number is. But I think for most people, if you made an extra $25,000 this year, it would make a huge, huge difference for you in your life. I mean, that's, that's you being able to get a new apartment or move out of your parents' house. So what we're talking about is how to make an extra $2,000 a month. But even that isn't as big as you think, because that is just about $500 a week. That's 70 bucks a day. So how do you make an extra $70 a day, right? 70 bucks a day gets you an extra $25,000 a year in your pocket. We figure out how to put $70 in your pocket every day that you didn't have yesterday, and that's how you're gonna make an extra quarter of $100,000, and that's gonna change your life. So let's figure it out. And now I'm late. Okay, where am I going? 1166? Okay, follow me. You ready? No. Oh. I go. Five more, five more seconds. What about now? One, two, three, four, five. Good. Yeah. Let's go. Give her wallet this time. No, do not clap. I'm a. We got reserved seating up here too. I'm a residential uh, real estate got, broker. Th these seats were on StubHub this morning for a thousand dollars a piece. Uh, I've been really impressed not only with your Forbes articles and what you wrote. I got a lot out of those, but also this book here. I think you all should definitely check it out. Um, some really good good advice here. Yes, we, we get it all, all set up for this. So you describe yourself growing up as a kid with zero confidence. Yeah. Nicknamed Crying Ryan. Yes. Who stayed at home eating Jello while watching Nickelodeon. I mean, I, I flush it out a little bit. Right. <laughs> Let me say I can it. go on. I think you also there was a Shakespeare stage where yeah. you yeah yeah. I was trying to find myself for a while there. Um, but yeah. So you said starting as a rental broker, you were making nine thousand a year. It was part time. Yeah, my first year. Like, yeah. What happened? There was a, a quantum leap at some point. You talk in your book about the need to always have balls up in the air. So did yeah. it? Did your rise? Was it kind of like a straight line? Was it exponential? Or how, how did how did you uh, um, suddenly get to, to where you are today? As a commissioned agent, if I just worked my ass off, I could make like an extra twenty bucks here or an extra like $30 here. I'd help this guy in the office and I'd do an open house and he'd pay me $100. Mm -hmm. I was like, holy shit. I just have to go and sit at that guy's apartment for an hour on a Sunday because he's too busy and that's an extra $100 in my pocket. If I do that, right, if I put an extra $100 in my pocket every day for a year, that's what? That's an extra, that's $30,000, 
right? And now that's still the way that I think. I'm like, if I can make an extra thousand bucks a day, what does that come into? If I could do this, if I could do this, and I don't have to care about anybody else, any other clients, I'll just take total control of the situations and help all these people out in a lot of different ways to make incremental little differences in income, which will pay dividends at the end. And that's how I built my entire career. Brian, you've done some great stuff. What's your definition of success? Um, my definition of success is hitting goals that I set out for myself consistently over time, right? So it's not like money, it's not a number. It's that I set out goals, I write them down, I figure out how I'm gonna hit them, and then if I hit them or exceed them, then that's success to me. And hopefully I exceed them by a lot, and then I was even more successful. You know, like the way I set out my goals for my entire team every year is I figure out how much money you wanna make. Like how much money do you wanna make this year, right? What do you want your income to be? Like don't forget like how much you wanna sell. Like what do you want your income to be? You wanna make $250,000, let's say. All right, let's figure out how much you need to sell to get to that number. And 250 is now your base salary. You have to earn that 250, right? And if you can't earn that 250 and you're on my team and that's the goal that you set out for yourself, then you can't be here, right? Because if you tell me how much money you wanna make, not me telling you, you tell me how much money you wanna make, you say you're gonna make it, that's your base salary and then you can't hit it you're either not coming and talking to me or you're not spending enough time in the office, you're not being creative enough or there's something wrong. Thanks. Thanks for having me. Fun. Good. <laughs> that is awesome. So Holy no, moly. Oh. No one's ever given this to me before. So That's like the coolest the gift ever. Tom Brady helmet. Yes. I think you need your, uh, your jersey to go on. Yes. That's awesome. Thanks, awesome, man. man. I appreciate right. it. Great to see you. All right. All right. Talk Thanks. To you like, I'm all about two things. One, like, I'm about controlling things I can't control. And I can't control what people say about me, what they write about me, the way people perceive my business. So I can go around that by controlling that message, by putting out my own content for the way that I view my own business, the way I view myself, the way I want people to see me. I'm gonna make that content and put it out there. And if I do it over a long enough period of time, that's how people are gonna view me. And then two, you have to do things that are free, right? Like even as CEOs, even as entrepreneurs, you gotta put stuff out there, you gotta work for free, and you gotta help other people because it's going to make you more money in the background, and I've been talking about that all day. Like that's how I think all of us together are gonna to make more money in 2019. By working for free, you will make more money. When you say working for free, you'll make more money. Can you expand on that a little bit? Can I expand on that? Yeah. So what yeah. I mean is, like take me for example, I'm a real estate agent in New York City. Right? I, I work for free all day long. No one pays me a salary, I don't get benefits, I don't get paid by the hour. I work literally for free until I do my job successfully. And if I don't do it successfully, I don't make any money. No one pays me anything. Okay. And, like a, you know, and so for anybody else out there who wants to make more money in 2019, whether you're the CEO of a company or whether you're kind of somebody just starting off from the ground up, you need to look around, you need to find somebody who's doing well and you need to go to them, you say, hey listen, I wanna help you out. I wanna make more money this year and I'm gonna help you make more money. I'm gonna work for you for free. You don't have to pay me anything. I'm gonna help you get business. And the business I get you, can you pay me a little bit? Like 50 bucks if I get you somebody to you know, write an article on. 100 bucks if I get you, you know, somebody who signs up a, a new account. You know, to, uh, 5% if I get you this gig over here. And I promise you, like not enough people do that and what you're gonna end up doing is creating work for people who want it, and you're gonna be able to line your pockets with more income than you had the year before. And it's like, it's what I do all day long as like my real career, and I think if more people did it kind of alongside what they're doing all day every day, they'd end up doing more work and then creating a bigger network and making more money and increasing their lifestyle, and then it's just a trickle down from there. Oh, interesting, I like that. I like that. Case in point, 2006, I graduate college, I moved to the city, I wanna be an actor, I don't have a whole lot of money, but I don't wanna wait tables, I don't wanna bartend, and I don't wanna temp. So I gotta figure out how I'm gonna pay my rent. So I say, you know what, what's one thing that I want to do? I wanna work out. So I go to a gym that's on the corner of 63rd and Lexington in the Upper East Side, and I say, hey, I can't afford a gym membership, but how can I work out here for free? They say, what? And I'm like, yes, for free. They say, no, and I'm like, I, there's gotta be something. So we put our heads together, we brainstorm. We say, let's do a work trade. I say, you guys need new members to come into this gym. That's how you make money, right? They say, yes. I say, okay, let me take flyers for the gym. Let me go stand on the corner 
Let me try to get people who live in this area to come to the gym and you guys can sign them up and get them as new members. If I do that, is there maybe a two hour window every day that I could work out at? They say, you know what? Yes. And then I became a flyer guy. So now I just came up with this whole idea where I could work for free to get something in return that actually made me happy and that was enjoyable. And then I went even bigger. So I said to myself, now how do I actually make some money out of this opportunity? I saw people that were in the gym, they're called membership advisors. And I said, okay, those guys make money by selling gym memberships. I now am on the street, on the corner, meeting random people to get them to come into the gym to get gym memberships. I went to those membership advisors and I said, hey, if I bring you good people who sign up, can you pay me like 10 bucks? 25 bucks. Can you pay me like 5% of what your commission is and I'll bring you more people? One guy said no. One other guy said absolutely not. One girl said hell yes. You bring me good people and that's what I did. Now all of a sudden I'm passing on flyers in the street. I get to work out for free and I'm making a little extra cash on the side. That's how you're going to make more money in 2019. That's how you're going to work for free to make more money in 2019. And there's Yuri. Yuri. It's automatic, I didn't really do that. Long, crazy day. Oh, she got dirty. <coughs> Hold on, you already load me up. Mm -hmm. What else? Everything? Yeah, all the stuff, just not the other bag. Yeah, that. The Patriots, you can throw on my shoulder. Wait, first, first show, the, show him. No, no, show him, show him the jersey. Patriots, all right, turn it around. No, 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 no not I you. Understand. Yeah, can you show the whole name? There you go, just to make sure, just FYI. Okay, you can throw that here. So that's it, I'm going upstairs to see my baby. End of vlog, I love you, keep watching, subscribe, tell your friends, let's go! Vlog's over. That's it, sorry, but you can still watch more. Maybe you can watch this one. Maybe you can watch this one. See, this one's pretty good. You should watch this one. Actually, you know what? This one seems pretty great. You should definitely watch this one. Actually, this one seems pretty good. Maybe you can watch both of them at the same time. Maybe try clicking like both.